In this video, I'm going to talk about an important app within the Center of Excellence Starter Kit called as Power Platform Admin View App. This app belongs to Core Component Solutions. So it's primarily a model-driven app. It is mainly targeted towards an admin user. Uh, this app will showcase all the inventory scanned by the Center of Excellence Starter Kit background process. Now it displays the inventory stats uh, of apps, flows, bots, environments, connectors, solutions, AI models, desktop flows, power pages sites, audit logs, and business process flows. So the inventory is very rich. Uh, it gives you more information uh, about an entity. So take, for example, if there is an app, now the app will showcase more information like uh, where, who created that app, where does it reside, which environment does it belong to, when it was last modified, who used it, to whom it is shared. Uh, so those kind of information, so those rich inventory based information will be displayed using this particular app. Now you can also, uh, there is an ability to execute business process flows against uh, each inventory. So take, for example, if you are in an app and if you are viewing one of the app, then in order to uh, uh, comply on uh, some of the parameters and in order to uh, provide some governance related information uh, against that particular entity or an app, uh, you will be able to uh, execute some sort of a business process, which helps in maintaining the uh, health of the app, maintaining the legitimacy of the app within your organization. Now. There is an ability to modify key element properties as well. So you can view the usage parameters, app feedback, risk assessment, uh, return on investment. Uh, you can also uh, edit uh, maker requirements, view the watched properties, edit business justification, uh, data classification dependencies, etc. Uh, also, you can excuse uh, the app or flows from being or run by say compliance process or maybe run by the cleanup archival or delete process. Additionally, you can view audit logs, you can view new environment request, you can view the makers, users, security role admin within your organization. So let's jump into the demo. Uh, first I'll show you how to trigger that app. So again, I'm in the center of excellence core components solution. I clicked on apps objects apps and then here i will find this app, power platform admin view click on this button and click on play the moment you do that you will be presented with a model driven app so this is like uh, i'd say like a most good looking app within the center of excellence starter kit it will list down uh, all the makers within your organization so as you see here this, these are set of the makers within my organization and it will give you some stats. Okay, now here the stats is about number of apps. So I have built 15 apps. There's an, another person who built four apps, okay? Also, from an environment perspective, it will list down all the environment within the organization and it will show you how many apps and how many flows exist within your organization. The system can also show how many flows has been created by the flow maker. So it not only talks about app makers, but it will give you information about flow makers as well. Plus it will give you a list of all the apps and flows within your organization. Now, if I go to another item, Power Apps app, it will give me a list of all the apps within my organization. Now, if I go into one of the app, now here I was talking about some business process flow. Right now, if you see on the top bar, there is a business process flow which is attached to this particular record. Now, against an app which is built within your organization, you can validate the business requirement, like the purpose for which this app was built. You can assess the risk, you can highlight the app in catalog, and you can do more. Uh, if I click over here in validate make a business requirement, I can uh, change some parameters you can i can say whether it is impacting the business or not i'll say yeah it's a low risk one i go into the next stage uh, but before that i need to fill in uh, if maker provides business requirements fields you know uh, now the business requirements fields are available within say uh, say governance section 
okay now here i need to specify what is the business justification what is the access management is there any dependency with the app data classification uh, whether the uh, uh, whether i uh, you know, have some requirements with regards to the uh, risk assessment state okay uh, and uh, like as you see in the overview section like this will give you basic details about the app okay and uh, all the timelines with regards to app like the app changes okay now uh, some of the information is locked so you can't make any change to that however anything which is open like say in governance you can put a business justification you know uh, for this app and uh, you can also show this app in app catalog uh, within uh, one of the app within the center of excellence starter kit now there are multiple options i'm not going to go through every one of them but uh, it's all self-explanatory it will this section will talk about the connection which is used for the app usage when this app was launched okay whom this app is shared with within the organization uh, if i have received any feedback with regards to app so i have received one feedback so that's why it is listed over here uh, what is the return on investment okay i can put these numbers you know and i can justify that this app will bring these many revenues within the organization either in terms of a direct revenue or it can be an indirect revenue by uh, making use of app we can help uh, improve productivity now this is about app similar item goes for flows as well so if i go into one of the flows it will show me the flow details it will show me the flow uh, changes like the timeline uh, then I can go into the governance parameter. I can specify the business justification. I can see the business justification provided by my end user. Okay. Or I can type it on my own. I can also see the washed properties. Like in a flow, if someone using a plain text password, it will be flagged over here. If the flow content is broken connection, it will be flagged over here. So, and all about suspension details, whether this flow is suspended and what is the reason for its suspension. Uh, connections and action if there are any connections being used in the flow i will be able to view it over here directly okay uh, so like this like uh, you get a whole bunch of inventory for this particular uh, application now if i go to environments now i have so many environments within my organization if i go to one of the environment i will be able to see the uh, environment details okay now uh, in the environment detail i need to specify the business area environment owner the purpose of this environment so let's assume this environment is just for dev so i'll mark this as this is for dev business area uh, i can specify the business area currently uh, there are a couple of business area i've set up and i'll cover this in, in another video as well what is the use of it uh, i can see the environment region where it is hosted what is the id uh, if i go into governance uh, I can even specify date ask for business justification. So take for example, if I am not sure like who created this, I will say, uh, I will ask for this date created for date to ask for business justification. Okay. And uh, I can also uh, provide uh, the importance of this particular uh, impact from the business perspective, like low, important or critical and the justification details. So if maker has provided me a justification, it will be visible over here. Okay, or an admin, I can also specify the business justification. Uh, going back to connectors. Now in connectors, I'll be able to see all the connectors within my organization. So let's say if I search for one connector, say HTTP, I just want to see who all are using HTTP with Azure AD. I click on it and then under governance, I will be uh, able to uh, put some value around this particular connectors and I can see whether it is used in within apps or flows and I can see that this connector is used in flows. So maybe I can contact the maker and then ask for some justifications about it. Bots. So again, bots is also one of the entity. If I want to see what does that bot do, I will be able to see all those information. When this particular bot was used, those information will also be loaded over here. I can see the bot configuration. Uh, I can see the governance and billing parameters with regards to bot. Okay, so there are various uh, settings uh, which is available within this particular application, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go through all these parameters like desktop flow, power pages, site, audit log, business processes, solutions. Uh, now I'll jump onto this section called request new environment. Now, as you know, uh, in Power Platform uh, uh, system. 
uh, like if you uh, there is an app whereby maker can request for a new environment now once they request for a new environment those entries will be presented over here now what an admin can do admin can go and check for the information what the uh, maker has put and then they can either approve or reject that request okay so you can say the request status is pending approved cancelled live failed deleted so those all things can be done from here okay so this is just an, another interface to view all the actions which is happening uh, from an environment creation perspective at the same time i can see the makers within my organization and how many apps and how many flows has been created by them power platform users the user details whether it's a user whether it's a user group uh, security role uh, within my organization so those all things can be seen um, and uh, if you see a area over here i can also navigate to admin okay and then here there's only one setting i can create an environment business area so as you saw when i created an environment there was uh, like a couple of business areas listed so it was coming from this master record so uh, that's it folks uh, this is all about power platform admin view and uh, it gives you a uh, summarized information about your inventory within your organization and uh, uh, if you want to make any change or uh, put some uh, information against those records this is the place to come and put those valid justifications or uh, put those app assessment related information compliance related information cleanup related information so those all can be put in this particular app thank you thanks for watching